Are you ready to be confused about uh, music production on a Mac and uh, CPU cores and everything around that? I will try to reduce that confusion. If you want to get a Mac that works good for music production, you should focus uh, on a Mac with uh, the most amount of performance cores you can afford. That's kind of the answer if you don't want to watch more of uh, the video. Performance cores is what uh, most DAWs are using. We have Reaper which is able to use efficiency cores. But uh, most DAWs like uh, Logic, Ableton, other DAWs, they use the performance cores and uh, you should focus on a Mac with uh, enough performance cores. So if you look at the uh, screen here, I have a, comp a comparison of uh, three different uh, laptops, the M1 MacBook Air, the cheapest one from 20... No, it's actually the current one. Let's take the one from 20... 20. And then we have the uh, MacBook Pro 16 inch with M2 Pro or M2 Max. Then we have the MacBook Pro 16 inch, the M3 Max I had uh, previously on this channel. So if you take a look here now, the M1 have a uh, eight core CPU in total, but it has four performance cores and four efficiency cores. So if you want to see how uh, a computer like that works in music production. I have a M1 MacBook Pro on my channel. Just search for it and you can see uh, some tests there. The M2 Pro used in the MacBook Pro 16 inch has a 12 core CPU, but here it has eight performance cores. So that's pretty good for music production. And then it has four efficiency cores uh, for other stuff like, uh, I don't know, office work, mail, things of that sort. The other chip in the M2 lineup is the M2 Max chip but it's actually kind of the same as the M2 Pro, okay? So it's still a 12 core CPU and it still has eight performance cores and four efficiency cores. So it's actually kind of the same thing. Uh, the difference is uh, GPU. So GPU for, for example, video editing, <laughs> gaming, if you do that, and you have a higher me uh, memory bandwidth on the M2 Max, your laptop for music production. I don't see a reason to go for the M2 Max chip uh, on the uh, if you go, are going for a used M2, I should I would go for the M2 Pro instead. But again, if you want to do video work, if you want to do video editing, uh, graphic and intensive tasks, yeah, you could go for the the M2 Max because you get uh, a, a fast or more GPU cores. Then we have the M3 Max. That's the uh, laptop I had uh, on this channel. A few months ago, I have returned it to Apple, so I don't have it anymore, so I can't test. It has uh, different chips, so it has the M3 Pro chip, and you can see there is a, it's a 12-core CPU here, but the difference is that it has six performance cores and six efficiency cores, and the earlier, earlier one had actually eight performance cores. So if you get the M3 Pro, it's actually not that faster than the M2 Pro in music production some cases it's maybe the same and in other cases actually a little slower take a look at that uh, later on i have a few videos i recommend so if you're going for the m3 max or the m3 lineup and you want the absolute best performance you need to go to the m3 max chip so here you get the 16 core cpu with 12 performance cores and four efficiency cores so you see what apple has done here uh, earlier on the M2 Max chip, it was actually the more or less the same as the M2 Pro chip, but now they have uh, differentiated it. Sorry, I can't speak. Uh, so it has more performance cores on the M3 Max chip, and obviously it's a lot more expensive. It costs a lot of money. So <coughs> I know that selecting the right CPU is actually pretty important if you are uh, go going for a kind of uh, budget uh, thing. If you are going the used way, I think you should uh, make sure you are you know how many performance cores that Mac has. And also I recommend checking some videos. You can check the videos on my channel about uh, uh, benchmarks and performance, but I also recommend these peoples. Uh, uh, the James uh, here is uh, testing uh, is doing a lot of uh, good testing and also we have of course uh, max tech so in this particular test max tech was doing he was testing the m3 pro 14 inch he got the 142 tracks and the m2 pro 14 inch got 153 track tracks so you see that you have to be aware of this 
when you are buying a Mac for music production because you probably maybe you don't need to to pay that uh, high amount uh, if you don't really need that performance. Uh, for me, I I f I use my PC for music production because uh, well I have tested the M3 Max and uh, I got the opportunity to return it to Apple and get the full amount back. So I did that. So we can do another thing as well. If we go here and we go to, let's say, uh, desktops, we can go to Mac Pro. So this is basically the same as the Mac Studio, but it's uh, much more expensive. It's the uh, Mac Pro, uh, the tower. And if we go to the Mac Studio, we can see that uh, we have the M2 Max chip here with 12 core, 8 performance cores, uh, same as the M2 Pro chip. And if we go to the M2 Ultra, we have 24 core CPU with 16 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. So if you want the best possible performance for music production uh, on a Mac, uh, either laptop or desktop, you could take a look at the Mac Studio. However, I would probably wait until we see something from Apple in with the uh, M3 max cpu or uh, m3 ultra it's probably right around the corner i would uh, assume and with that said i also want to see a, uh, talk about a comment i got on my channel uh, here's one saying that the uh, m3 ultra will not double the performance on the m1 and m2 the ultra added only about 50 percent more performance and the interconnect between the cpu just isn't able to scale performance linearly and the big advantage of the ultra in the Mac studio is the fan noise so even on crazy projects you won't hear it uh, completely relevant on normal projects if you produce with headphones of course so um, yeah if you want uh, low noise you can also you should also take a look at uh, Mac studio and uh, yeah again I get a lot of comments uh, and questions about uh, music production and uh, what kind of Mac you should uh, choose. So here I have a question. Still have a hard time deciding which upgrade will eliminate problems I have with my MacBook Air M1 when I have the freedom to produce EDM tracks without having problems with playback or mixing. Would you recommend a MacBook Pro M3 Max 16 core? which has more performance cores, or let's say a Mac Studio M2 Max 64 gigabyte RAM 12 core. I don't want to deal with crackling and crashy projects. I use FL Studio, Ableton and Logic Pro. Yeah, so what do you think? So if we have the MacBook Pro M3 Max 16 core here, it's uh, this one and we can compare it with the Mac Studio M2 Max. Yeah, so it's this one. So the M3 Max have uh, 12 performance cores. And the M2 Max have 8 performance cores. So it's difficult to say. I don't have the M2 Max uh, on the Mac Studio, so I can't really test it. The thing with uh, Apple products nowadays, it's, it's just one reason I, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in another video, I think. But it's this thing about, you know, I get that people buy Apple products. I don't have any problems with them. I like them. And if you do this full time and if this is your job, then uh, you should get the tools that gives you the best work day uh, to do your work to earn your money uh, by having a, a mac i mean it's a cost but uh, in the grand total of things it might not be uh, a big cost for you i mean contractors they have tools they have good tools they have i don't know milwaukee tools or something like that somewhere is going to be triggered now but you know it's uh, it's a tool and it it costs what it costs and uh, that's it uh, for me i i don't have any uh, job i don't uh, do this full time so i can't really justify the cost i can justify the cost because i like upper products and i like to use them but nowadays i am more i think uh, uh, pivoting over to trying to be more reasonable with uh, the economics um, i mean 
you 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 can you can get a really good computer if you go for a used M2 Pro with uh, the most possible performance scores. And I mean, if you don't, if you can't really run your projects, you might think about using more return tracks. I mean, if you are someone that produces orchestral productions, uh, you work in a studio, I mean, you're not watching me talking about this. You know what you want, you know what you need, and you buy it. That's just basically how it is. But I think that a lot of people think they need to buy the most expensive Mac, and they have like uh, a project with five tracks, ten tracks, and I mean, it's it's no problem. Uh, even the M1 MacBook Air from 2020 is able to handle a lot of things. I have made a lot of tracks that I have like 50,000 so, streams in Spotify. I just made it on the laptop, the M1 MacBook Pro. So I'm switching between Mac and PC for music production. I uh, currently use my PC and uh, it's because I uh, it's most practical. I don't uh, I game on my PC as well, so it's just more practical for me using Windows. Yeah, I don't really have a Mac laptop at the moment. Um, we'll see if I get an M M2 MacBook Air or something. We will see. Uh, but my main production uh, a computer is going to be a PC for the time being. So one thing I think that can be worth waiting for in the uh, Mac world or the Apple world is uh, the Mac Mini with uh, M3 or the Mac Studio with uh, M3. It's rumored that Apple will talk about this uh, in, uh, well, maybe around a month and we will probably see an update to those two desktop uh, computers. Apple usually just update the computers that are most popular first. It's the laptops, of course, and then they go for the uh, desktops. And uh, I also believe that they will try to uh, retire the uh, Mac Pro because the Mac Pro is, well, it doesn't really have any benefit uh, above uh, the uh, Mac Studio except having a few PCI Express ports and probably able to upgrade the memory, I think, or not. I'm, I don't remember. Anyways, Apple products are expensive. I like them. Uh, I use them. I don't really use them at the moment. Performance course. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.